Mm -mm. It's made out of a material that you may think is quite frankly too heavy to hang. But our next guest says his work is only heavy on detail. Joining us this morning, William Hall, a man who uses cement to create all of his artwork. First good of morning. all, good to see you. Thank you. I have a question. Being sure. in the South, is it cement or cement? It's cement. Cement. I'm going with that. <laughs> uh, we've heard, you know, paper, wood, even steel artwork. Um, I wouldn't say cement or cement. Is that common? Where did this idea It's not come common from? to be used as art. Right. I like to work in non-traditional materials. Okay. Uh, and it's very, very flexible and very versatile. Uh, so I've just really gotten into working in the last 10 years or so. Something that really surprised me. I've been told the pieces actually are not all that they heavy. They look heavy, don't May they? May I? Uh, Red on both sides over here and okay. just pick it up. You'll see the only way is it's very light. Okay, see I'm not see? that strong. How is that cement? Well, the cement is only actually a quarter of inch thick and then it's mounted on something called ISO board, which is like this, which is a foam course, very strong. I'll yeah, show you how show, strong it show is. Us. You can even stand on that. Look at you. It'll support my weight. Okay. And what that does, it's, it gets a support for this so that it doesn't break. And then I frame it in aluminum also. And so it, this whole image here weighs about 10 pounds. So you can hang it on the wall. Oh, definitely, no definitely. Yeah. Okay, and definitely there's space. Okay, I love that. So you brought kind of a setup here to show us how right. you do this. How right. do you make the, the pieces? Well, uh, basically I work in reverse and I work on glass. What you're seeing here is the back, this is the back side of the work here. Oh, this is the back side? This is the back Hold side. That so we can the, see that. The, this is the back side of the work. And it's glass? It's on glass. You're, oh. This is the basic, what's going to be the good side of the artwork right here when it's finished. Okay. And so this has been done in advance and I pour the cement over this and basically it locks this in and then pulls it off the glass. I want to see how you do that. Okay, what we do here, we start off with different solutions. I start off with this is an acrylic uh, polymer mixture that strengthens the cement so it lasts very, okay. very strong. So I pour that in here. Okay. This is why you need the apron. Right, and I'm, I'm thinking not, I may even back I'm up not this that, tap. I'm not that messy, but that's <laughs> right. And then this really isn't coffee, although I could use some right now. This it's is actually my much. this is my cement. Uh, and it's a special grout. It's very rapid setting. It's light in color. Normally, if I were going to put a color background, I would add the color pigment at this point. Yeah, I was going to ask, do you paint it after it's dry? The, the it pigment is, is inside, mixed with the cement itself. Okay. So therefore, I can polish it out. All right, I'm so gonna, go ahead and dump that. I'm going to dump this I'm in here. I'm surprised it, it doesn't take that much cement. You don't want to inhale that stuff. Okay, I'll back up. And then, uh, now here, I'll watch out. Oh my, is that just a power drill? Just a power drill. What have you put on the end of that? That's a mixer. And I mix this up, and hopefully you get this you, lumped out of this pretty quickly. You said it's quick drying, right? It's quick drying. Well, this will set up in about 30, 30 minutes. So is it is it already getting harder to stir that around? Are you actually getting, it's getting thinner right now. Like you've got like heavy cream here in just a moment, and I'll be able to pour it. You're right. You don't make that much of a mess. No, I'm, I'm, I'm uh, not messy I pictured this to be a lot messier than no. what it is. Okay, where do you, where can one get all the materials, or where do you go for your materials? To I get do, all it's stuff? a one-stop shopping at Home Depot. Everything that they use comes from Home Depot. There you go. Okay, uh, have you always been doing this, or what did no, you do No, I before? work traditionally in oil and acrylic and thing all these years, but we built a home, and I really got, really, it built a little bit of cement when I was doing all the work on the tile and everything okay. in the grab. Okay, I've about got it here. It doesn't take long at all. No, it doesn't take long. So, so you've always kind of been an artist. Oh yeah, oh yeah, for 30, 40 years. And then how much of that 30, 40 years have you been working with cement? The last 10. The last, the last 10. 10 years. Do you know of anyone else doing it exactly I don't. I, I more or less developed this system over a period of years, and uh, I don't know anyone else that's doing it. I absolutely love it because you know what? Not only is it beautiful art, but it's a talker. It I mean, is that's, a talker. You know you have friends or guests yeah. over, and that's something you, you can, can talk about. You can feel this stuff. It's meant to be touched. That's one of the nice things about it. Is well, right, because if it's oil or something, you're going to ruin it. Right, okay, so or, can... or even wax. Okay, I'm ready to get... pour it. Let me stir this oh, just yeah, a little yeah. bit with a stick here. Okay. It's very important to get the lumps out through here, and we're about ready. So we, to... we don't want any lumps. It's kind of like no, pancake batter. Yeah. Now, do you want to pour this? You want I'll to? pour it. Yes, okay. give it to me. Is that it heavy? Good. It's probably not heavy. heavier than the actual art. What you want to do, you want to start pouring in the middle. Okay. And just sort of work your way out toward one side, a little corner, and then another corner. And then back toward the other corner. This could be worth a lot of money. A celebrity's pouring oh, it. Look at this. Please. Okay, now we just finish off in the center. And dump the rest sure the of the whole thing. The whole thing. So what a great job. Do you reuse the wood part? Oh, yeah. These are used over and over again. Okay. 
So it's kind of like the shell. Okay, now this will take about 20 minutes to set up. Hopefully by the end of the program, I'll be able to pull this off and show you the other oh, side. Yeah, we'll still be on the air. So you'll we'll still be on the air. Okay. I'll have to take that off. Okay, so and then you just pop it out? Uh, I actually pry it off the glass. It has a release mechanism on there, which I'm using. So That's so cool. Sticking. Well, really, so do you put a frame around it? Is that stuff you were talking about that you were standing on yeah. that is, works this, as the frame? This is back here. Okay. And this is the frame part that goes on the front. So I just love it. Well, thank you. Is there any limit on how big you can make something? Uh, no. If I'm, I've made them uh, eight foot wide oh, uh, by ten so foot, cool. you know, just how big the board is. It could be in such section panels and things like that. So it works out quite well. All right, we're going to be checking back. I want to check back in with this and see. I want you to. This. Okay. You. William, thank give, you so much. Five here. Absolutely. You are often, sir. All right. I, I know everyone wants to check out more of William's great cement art. So you want to go to his website for more information. That's WilliamHallArt.com. And you've got to stick around because William is going to show us. The end result, it's going to happen by the end of the show. Amy, over to you. Hey, we want to just check back in one last time with William Hall. He's that cement artist we've been talking cement. about. To see how it's all turned out. So it's been a little over 20 minutes. What do we have now? Well, the problem is the table wasn't level and the slab went out this way. So it's thin and it's broken. But I think I can turn it over. You know if it's going to break. Oh, we get the idea. But you get the oh. idea. Now, this is, it has to be cleaned out. Let's see if I get some more. Now, it's, it's not enough time to set up is the oh, problem. Oh, did we do that? Did we ruin that? Well, the table you wasn't did. even. It's all your fault. A little, a little more time, and then this would, this is ruined right now, but all this would be wiped up. There's lots you of texture. You can get a discount on this one. This, one, trying this, to one, say. Is, this one is cheap. It's half off today. Let's okay. just on. say I did that one. I feel sorry. Well, you thank you so much. Okay. It, it does I apologize. Oh, don't apologize.